Hey, welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about the Transylvania Naked Neck, more commonly referred to as the Turkin. And before we get started, no, Turkins are not a cross between chickens and turkeys. Um, Turkins are a fairly new breed as far as breed grows. Well, I guess kind of. They're, um, they're developed in the late 1800s, early 1900s um, in the Transylvania slash Romania area of Eastern Europe. Um, so a little over a hundred years old. Now, uh, turkins are kind of a, um, aside from their look, they're a pretty average or mediocre chicken for the most part. They're, they lay a, a light brown egg, they're an average layer, um, the roosters can get up to like eight and a half pounds. The hens are somewhere around the five to maybe even six pound mark. So they're average in most respects. Um, they will go broody and they're a little bit uh, slightly more above average when it comes to their broodiness. So uh, that might be helpful to some people. But their main claim to fame is their, um, basically their necks. <laughs> so... What it is is that there is a uh, uh, allele, a dominant allele or a gene that they have <clears throat> that causes this, and so it's completely, you know, no no feathers on their neck, and um, then throughout the rest of their body, it's a reduced number of feathers. So if you actually were to pick one up and start, you know. Uh, combing through the feathers or whatever you would notice that there's a lot less volume of feathers um, compared to a, a standard you know an average chicken so that means that they do really well in warmer climates but you do have to be careful in colder climates because they have less you know insulation value so you are gonna have to be careful about that another great thing is um, there are a bit more uh, feed efficient because of the reduced number of feathers and I'll get into that a little bit later but <clears throat> because the, this allele is dominant you can cross this look onto pretty much any um, other breed of chicken and the one that uh, comes to mind that's most popular is what they call showgirls which they cross a turkin with a silky and so you'll have this, you know, silky type body and, you know, head feathers and the feathers around the neck will be missing, which reveals the, that beautiful um, bluish black skin. So silkies are probably the most uh, prevalent cross you'll find or most widely known, although there are probably, you know, others that uh, people are trying out, but, uh, you know, novelty crosses or what have you but the one thing that's really interesting and uh, I'm going to probably try this down the road is people use these as a broiler cross or, or sorry as one of the parent breeds to create broilers so from my understanding and from what I've been reading is you would cross a turkin with um, a Cornish um, because the, the broilers, the, the babies, have two great things going for them. One, it's obviously a lot less feathers for in the plucking phase, right? When you're going to process your, your broiler, the reduced feathers throughout the entire body and uh, their neck. I mean, the neck's not so much is a, an issue, but... The reduced feathers does make the whole plucking process quicker. But the main thing is their feed efficiency. And I think mainly this is due to the fact that, you know, feathers are protein um, dependent, right? It's a high protein, uh, uh, a lot of protein goes into the making of feathers. So if there's a reduced amount of feathers needed or um, there, then the feed that they're eating, they can go towards, you know, body growth versus feather production. So 
<clears throat> that's why you don't see broilers with feathered feet and things like that because it just steals away some of the their uh, uh, protein intake so <clears throat> anyways I think that's partly due to it and they also say that they have a larger keel bone larger breast bone so that might be of benefit too um, for the broilers so anyways I don't know how much of this is true this is all I've been reading on I think I'm gonna give it a shot um, one of my friends who let me film this um, she crosses them with uh, large Asian games to be a big meaty bird for the ethnic market um, she really likes them because they grow fast put on a lot of weight and uh, and whatnot so but also on looking online I've seen where a few people have done this uh, thing as well so if anyone has tried made, making uh, broiler crosses from these please comment down below tell me your thoughts I'm gonna give it shot, a shot also if you're crossing turkins to create new breeds or if you've seen it happen besides the showgirls comment down below I'll probably you know later do a video on you know the various crosses and whatnot too so thanks again bye